Hello, hello. Welcome back to Let's Play as the Incans. So, last we left off, mm, we were in quite a good shape. I recall having wanting to uh, rush for Machu Picchu. I think I'm gonna finish a great engineer soon enough. Wow, in fact, I'm going to get it next turn. So, so I guess I plan to build Machu Picchu in Machu, which sounds like a great plan. It gives me 25% extra gold from city connections. So far, I've only had one city connection with my capital, but soon enough, I think, since this is a huge, we have a huge coastal area, we can build like a lot of harbors and so on. And and my tower improvements only cost half, so I'm going to have a lot of cities covering a huge part of a uh, huge portion of the luxury resources. So that's going to generate a lot of income through city connections. So Machu Picchu is definitely going to be my gem. Now, now here comes the problem. I would want more production to go on in Machu but it seems like this area around here is mostly food focused I could ask it to work on these three tiles over there which would sum up to around let's take a look at the yield icons which would sum up to around if I, if I work on this tile it gives me one extra production so maybe seven, seven extra production that's gonna help a lot but, but I suppose before we get Machu actually if I were to finish building Machu Picchu I would need a, a, a good amount of production in the city so you worker could rush on building a a mine or something on the hill yeah, you could connect back to the capital. We have six more turns to go before we finish up Machu Picchu. Seven turn is uh to be accurate because we need one turn to actually build it up. We need more production in our city of Machu, that's for sure. We also want some happiness. Um and the way we are going to get more happiness is if we hook up a uh, silk work on this silk house over there for trading purposes so is there I any other <coughs> luxury resource that I can get my hands on let's take a look at you not really well then it's not that big of a deal for the moment we need to get sugar though right so there is not much going on around here you could move around to the east coast of this continent um, Imhotep the one who built I suppose the hmm should I get why extra food though? Imhotep is the one who built pyramids if I'm not mistaken So I have these two cities which grow at quite a decent rate. How did I get four happiness out of nowhere? I I hooked up first. So I'll be able to get ten happiness pretty early on. Do I have copper under yeah, under work it does. Now do I want to focus on Machu or or this Olantai Temple Olantai Temple city over there well I could make my workers work on planes give more production or alternatively could make them construct a pasture I also just realized that I have a research optics yet which prevented my units from embarkation but never mind that we need to decide properly which wonder is going to be the next built by the Incans 
Um, hmm, that's quite a tricky question. Also, we are going to take. It's going to take some turns for us to generate yet another great engineer. Um, one hundred more turns. So it better be a some technology that I could get my hands on one hundred turns later. Maybe the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I would love a great person of my choice. I mean, there's no sin state around us, so getting a great machine isn't really that much, not that big of a deal. But if we could use that extra great person as a great engineer, we could finish off even more great wonders. Now, it's kind of impossible for me to reach uh, the Leaning Tower of Pisa in time. So we're not going to go for that crazy idea. Now what I wonder is did anyone finish the oracle? How to translate it? Probably everyone does. Uh, at least someone would have done that. So what do I want to go for? Circus Maximus. Allow us to find more cities. Hmm. A great war which gives us great engine points which is going to be quite helpful. I think hundred turns later that's not going to work. Now which technology can I hook up hundred turns later? Um probably Anchor Watt. Yeah, that's that's quite decent. We are going to finish off the top the top parts of the technology tree and get ourselves Anchor Watt reduction in um culture and gold costs for tower acquisition. Um, it would definitely help in expanding my territories. What else can we go for? Civil service. Length of golden ages increased. Now that's quite important too. But can I rush for it? I think 100 turns later that's not really going to help us out. Maybe we could even go for Himeji ca Castle. That could be a thing. Himeji Castle for the extra engineer points. But since we are not close to any city state, we are destined not to hold a great deal of votes on the World Congress. So we can't really get a science. Yeah, get a boost in great engineer and great scientist points. Oh, sorry, my mic, my mic just fell down. Really sorry about that. <laughs> um, so, anyways, what I was talking about is, uh, if I focus that too much on great scientists and great engineer, it might just pass a world congress uh, policy stating that uh, a proposal stating that they should start arts funding and. All my hard work is gonna be penalized. It's not going to be cool. Don't think I can reach physics just in time. Three at sixteen nineteen thirty two fifty two fifty two for physics. Um around one hundred for Himeji Castle. So I think my next one though is going to be the Himeji Castle. But before we do anything of that sort, maybe I wanna <laughs> Library after all <coughs> Didn't realize I don't even have a library in my character There goes the Incan's academics mm, Theodora is interested in exchanging embassies Sure why not? I'm gonna love each other mm, They provide 7 gold per turn oh, That's useful I mean their capital provides that much to them is quite awesome. So I want to build a trier. It's not like it's close to any desert tiles. Um, yeah, not really. Market though, it's definitely going to help more food. Sure, building water mill in Taiwan Aku or Taiwan Aku, which stands for me, by the way, in our language, in the Malaysian, in the Malay language. The merch. We have reached the medieval era. Ray, we did that. 
straight like sharp on 180 which is perfect um, since it's dealing with rough units for the moment oh actually I forgot that it's do I want Ethiopia to like me or do I want extra workers you know what I might return it you are welcome I think I can cook up another worker pretty soon I want to finish that tree that liberty tree so that I could get yes another great engineer that way I could finish a lot of wonders that I want to finish which has always been part of my plan hmm. oh look at that we could build Machu Picchu now awesome sorry for the sudden cut there I was uh, looking browsing through all those stuff and seeing yeah, just generally planning before recording <laughs> so we could do the Machu Picchu if I finish this it's gonna be the first time I finish Machu Picchu in the entirety of my civilization playthrough experience I know I know that's kind of crazy but that's how bad I am at this game deal with it right so we we have already researched construction the Incans already know how to build so what good will it do to us we can build uh, lumber mills on these forest tiles four of them it's definitely going to help our capital out a lot now you could help in connecting these two cities um, it's going to generate even more gold for me I can already see my income bump up as soon as I finish Machu Picchu around 25 AD um, at the turn of the millennia or rather the start of the millennia we built Machu Picchu few romances can ever surpass that of a granite citadel on top of the beetling precipices of Machu Picchu the crown of the Inca land. Wow, it looks quite beautiful. Inca, 25% go from city connections. Um, how the crap did I just suddenly get so much money? I don't understand. I s presume that getting the extra 25% go isn't really that big of a deal for now. <laughs> it seems like it was. So we are getting pretty rich oh we don't even get to finish great war and oracle let's see if they are one of our neighbors um, hanging gardens Heracruta army not really my neighbors aren't really that wonderful oh there we go we can file religion why the crap not all right first we need to choose a production maybe one extra merchant point would help will generate so much gold we don't even we haven't even met the state yet which is quite ridiculous maybe I want to get a scout you know what I will spend one turn building a scout now the rest um, probably artist skill point would be to get enough culture enough culture to get myself another great engineer when I finished Liberty Tree yeah so why not let's follow religion by the way now which one is most fitting to the Incans I forgot how the Incan emblem looks like oops sorry uh, I can't see it's Incan Inca it looks something like the uh, color of a clown or something um, mm, looks like that alright so this is the in ska in incarnation uh what reincarnation hmm yeah I'll stick with the word incarnation so what does incarnation do uh tis tis however however the word is pronounced <laughs> uh it's gonna be quite helpful later on. Uh, 
when I, when I get into conflict with other civilizations around me and I couldn't get myself to trade with them which I find myself which is a situation where I find myself in most of the time or I, I could get one happiness for two cities they're not really that strong pepper primacy is not helping as we haven't even met a city state yet which is even more rhetorical um, what else can I do? one extra food? not really we well, getting four faith from nature and then tapping out a lot more growth use faith to purchase pre-industrial units now we could get a lot of faith and start converting people now the point we do that is probably to uh, now as the Incans what we are strong at is infrastructure we are not really that strong at warring other people uh, but during when we are on hills we are especially strong but most of the times we focus on defense and founding the city that's kind of stuff garden provides two happiness uh, then we'll be for forcing ourselves on a pretty how to say cultural path maybe we win by cultural victory or something like that uh, purchasing holy warriors not really that important I mean I, I I'm finishing building those cities those buildings in my cities pretty quickly and soon er all I can build are you so holy war is not going to be that big of a deal uh, gardens providing two happiness um, that's going to discount the three unhappiness from founding a city to two uh, to one three minus two is one so I can found even more cities uh, which is great I want happiness happiness and gold or maybe happiness and happiness oh uh, that's pretty great if I do it that way do I want to found a lot of city hmm I mean like why the crap not that's kinda crazy fire for for the world do I want to be getting like 30 gold per turn? Yeah, I think gold would be more important. So incarnation focuses with uh, on nature stuff. We are one with nature, and and you know, gold is a very good element in grow in uh, worshiping nature. And the reason we do that is because we we get we obtain our money to start building peace gardens which makes people feel happy so this is what incarnation is about it's the karma of capitalism or something like that so let's found this uh, religion incarnation birth of a religion so currently we are having the second highest score among our neighbors um, you could stand still and heal up yeah. Maybe we would like some more uh, trade roads to be opened up. I mean, it could generate a lot of signs, this too. But if in order to achieve that, we would need to research uh, additional trade routes. We would want. Oh, by the way, I could start constructing Colosseum in all these cities. Right, Colosseum. After library, ri library, you can build the Colosseum. You could build the Colosseum. So, that means sometime later, I will need horseback riding to get myself Circus Maximus. So, all the strategies we are going on mostly focuses <coughs> excuse me mostly focuses on gaining happiness for my citizens so that I can found a great deal of cities now if I get a great engineer before someone builds a Petra I'm going to found my city somewhere in between here and build Petra just for the lows or maybe I could just build it much yeah I'm a dumbass Alright, you could explore it eastwards, discover the hidden east. Has the Ethiopian discovered anyone else yet? Hmm, that's cheats. No, 
Hmm. How interesting. So I think we are pretty much stuck on this continent. Hmm. We are generating 40 science per turn. 41. That's awesome. Oh my goodness. That quick and all entire ensemble has already converted to Eastern Orthodoxy. Wow. Now the Ethiopians are getting quite aggressive on spreading their religion. So. Um. Mm, they have sugars. One less trade partner. Uh, definitely not awesome. Oh! So we finished connecting the two cities. Uh, awesome. Now you could work on connecting that. No, actually. Those workers, they are already working on that. Everything is going fine for the moment. As usual, we want to stay peaceful, especially as the Incans, we, when we have no military uh, advantages whatsoever. Hmm. Oh, look at look at those guys down there. It's going to be something. So, anyways, that's twenty minutes into our recording. So, if you like this or you want to keep this outwards play through uh keep it on working please kindly like this video or subscribe or give your constructive criticisms thanks for watching